The heart of a gas turbine. It will drive 1,500 blades at a speed of 50 revolutions a second. Markus Vogelsang helped design it. A whole turbine is moving past you. It never fails to impress me because about 400 tons are hanging down from the ceiling. Turbines are currently being built at full capacity. That pleases the engineer. He first trained at the company to be an industrial technologist. And then he went to university. After my training, I considered whether I should go right into a job. But that didn't look like a good idea in Germany. So my decision to study machine construction may have been exactly right, with an emphasis on construction. And today I'm really glad because I don't have to worry about making a living. The turbines will be installed in a gas power plant. These engineers built a new power plant in Bavaria for a German power company. They expect more orders. The energy company must plan for a mixture of energy sources, from windmills, solar panels, and gas power plants. When the wind isn't blowing, or when clouds block the sun, you're going to need a capacity of 30 to 50 gigawatts to compensate for the shortfall. You need to be able to fire up power plants from nothing to capacity very fast. The plant here is a prototype with a brand new gas turbine and a steam turbine. That makes it more efficient. It consumes less natural gas than earlier gas power plants. This facility produces 580 megawatts. That's enough to supply about a million three-person households. As you know, that's the size of a big city in Germany. And that's what makes this machine so cost-effective. The power company is paying 250 million euros for the plant. It will change hands in four weeks. By then, everything has to be in working order. In the control room, they're firing up the turbines for a test operation. We hope that we don't have to do any more work on the gas turbine. If today's tests go well and the vibrations are okay, then we won't. One advantage of gas power plants is that they can be started very fast. With all the monitors here, we managed it in 25 minutes. From nothing, from off, through igniting, you have to start by igniting a gas turbine, then bringing it to standard RPM, then synchronizing, going into operation, starting the steam turbine, and then go to full capacity, a half a gigawatt in 25 minutes. And maybe that time can be improved. Markus Vogelsang and his colleagues in Berlin are working on it. Improved blades, new coatings, so that the turbines are even more effective. But however efficient they may be, gas power plants aren't entirely clean. They too emit carbon dioxide. The question is, are we really doing the wrong thing? I don't think so. Of course, wind power is an interesting subject because you don't need to burn anything. But to supply a city like Hamburg, where one of our turbines is enough, well, you have to burn something. In a few days, Markus Vogelsang will be on hand when his colleagues test his gas turbine. If all goes well, the machine will be loaded on a ship for a power plant in Florida.